Hello and everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of our series Power People, which profiles you who source of the music business industry. And today on this very special episode, we have with us Mr. Ramindran Narayan, MD President of PTC Network. We welcome you here today, sir. Hi, welcome and thank you. So, uh, Rabindu, so my first question to you is that, can you share your journey to becoming the president of PTC Network and what inspired you to, you know, the transition into the media industry? Uh, it's, it's a long and varied journey, but I'll try and summarize it in a few words. Yeah. See, I was a journalist. I started as a journalist. I was the oh, editor wow. of Sun magazine. Sun okay. at that time in late 80s was the only youth magazine and yeah. the music magazine at that time. And I was simultaneously also the culture editor with a Sunday newspaper called Sunday Mail. Yeah. I was doing two things. And besides this, I was doing theater, Punjabi yeah. theater. Oh. And I didn't know at that time that Punjabi theater would ultimately change the shape of my career and life. Yeah. So when the Iran-Iraq war happened in 92, the cable television came to India. So I teamed up with HMV and we created a show called the HMV show in okay. which we used to prepare a video magazine on VHS tapes about the forthcoming releases, movies, Roop Kirani, Choro Ka Raja, Sajda wow. Album by Jagjit Singh, with interviews of star cast and all those things. So, and this used to premiere over 800 cable networks simultaneously. So that was the first incident of home cast the concept that we coined was home cast then we started a video magazine called the home cast weekly it was a weekly video magazine this is before news track and all those started then i was also doing documentaries and this journalism and theater and all of this was going on till about 98 mm. when all these satellite channels had mushroomed there was ZTV, ATN, and blah, 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 so many of them. And that is the time when I thought that there are channels now in every language, but not yeah. in Punjabi. And I was doing theater in Punjabi at that time. So I thought, let's make a channel in Punjabi. So we made a project, and we presented it to a few people, and some guys liked the concept, and we got together and launched the first ever Punjabi satellite television channel called Punjabi. Yeah. So yeah. that was the start of the satellite Punjabi television. We okay. started with Golden Temple Gurbani and we created a lot of shows. There was no software in Punjabi available at that time. Okay. There was only Doordarshan, which used to do a few things yeah. for an hour or two in Jalandhar. So that was too big a success too soon. So that channel didn't last for more than six months. Although we had ad orders worth 12 crores in six months. Mm -hmm. But then uh, we again started uh, pursuing people who were like-minded and fortunately we hooked up with ETC. Hmm. ETC was a Bollywood trailers channel at that time. Okay. And we gave a presentation for launching ETC Punjabi. And that's how ETC Punjabi started. And then ETC Punjabi got taken over by Z, but Z knew the caliber that the team had. So they gave Z Punjabi also to us to run. So for almost eight years, we ran Z Punjabi and ETC Punjabi till one fine day we decided that this is enough. We want to change. We want to do something else. And then 62 of us left Z and started ETC in 2008. And since then, we've never looked back. Now we have six linear television channels, yeah. uh, almost 104 Facebook pages, four Twitter handles, four Instagram and there's an audio label, a film production company, and I think India's only VR production company. Yeah. We do shows in virtual reality. Yeah. A lot of things we keep innovating with technology. We introduce cloud play out on a mass scale. I mean, almost 12 of our channels are played out from beams. Our 12 beams are produced and played out from the cloud. So there are a lot of innovations we keep doing. We keep recording talent. We keep doing, uh, releasing their songs. We produce, I think we are the only guys who produce a movie every week, a one hour <laughs> short film every week under PTC box office label. So there are a lot so of innovations we keep yeah. doing. 
yeah so in between you know all of this so what have been some you know biggest challenges that and you know successes during your tenure as a president till now of pdc network See, we proudly claim that we are the only Indian channel which is empanelled in the White House. Yeah. Uh, we are empanelled in the Canadian Parliament. We do live telecasts from the Sikh Day Parade, which happens in New York, the parades that happen in Yuba City. So these are very, very high points that we do. And every day, morning and evening, we broadcast Gurbani from yeah. Golden Temple, from Seas Ganj, Gurdwara, Delhi, from Hemkund Saab, from those snow-clad mountains were very difficult to go for one day and the crew does it throughout the tenure that the uh, Gurdwara is open for. We do it from Nandir and it's been happening for almost 16, 17 years continuously, 365 days, no breaks, nothing at all. This itself is a very remarkable feat that this yeah. happens. There, there must be some divine design that nothing goes wrong. And it continues every day. Yeah, a lot of shows, reality shows we done did. Punjab, you know, at the time was reeling from economic disaster. Uh, it was dubbed as a separatist state and all that. It was emerging from all of that. So promoting talent, promoting local uh, talent, and instilling pride back into the people of Punjab that they're as good as any in the world. So I think we played a key role in it. So we've so had recently you all, you know, came up with a you know new uh, thing called Rising Stars. I was just uh, checking about that. So tell us about that more. So. so what happened was we realized that we've been doing award shows for 15 years or so. Yeah. Like everybody else, we are awarding the talent which is established. Yeah. Movies which do well, uh, yeah. film stars who are already stars. And uh, similarly, music awards, yeah. we are awarding music and giving honor to those stars which actually are established. They don't uh, really need the recognition from us or from anybody. They're stars in themselves. Right. I mean, if you want to give an award to Diljeet, yeah. uh, it doesn't matter to him. He's already a global star. Global star. People yeah. who need encouragement, awards, recognition, and a bit of encouragement are those who are debuting. Yeah. Who are launching themselves, who have the talent, but they are still not recognized. They, uh, they, they, they're, they're laden with, I will say, talent, skills and everything. But they don't have the money. They don't have the wherewithal. They don't know who's who of the industry to establish themselves as good potential future stars. So we thought, let's give them awards. Let's give them a platform. Let's give them a recognition where they can also stand on the same platform with the established stars and show that they also have it in them to be the stars of the future. Yeah. So that was the idea behind it. We have already done for the music, rising music stars. We are yeah. now going to be doing rising film stars. Oh, wow. Both film artists, makers, film technicians who have just debuts in a, in a year or two. Uh, they, they just landed up in the industry and they're doing extremely well. Yeah. Those are the type of talent in Hindi, Haryanvi, Kashmiri, uh, lo uh, predominantly. In terms of, you know, I think uh, Punjabi music in today's time is here to stay and yeah. it is here to stay for a long time now. So how has the, you know, Punjabi music industry evolved over past decade and what uh -huh. Is your view on that? I mean, since, since I've seen the transformation yeah. and we've been part of the trans transition. Yeah. So I can tell you when 98, when we launched Punjabi World, we used to ask singers to come and perform. There were no studios at that time. Uh, there were no resources. Okay. And most of them would do akhadas and shows mm -hmm. in villages, towns and all those places. They would get paid in cash. So they would land up with big bags of cash. The, here's the money, produce a song for us. So yeah. I've seen that era yeah. that transformed into humatic tapes, which they used to shoot in outdoor locations or some makeshift uh, Durdarshan type studios, which was starting to mushroom there. Then it graduated into those crores worth of videos shot in foreign locations. As the skill and talent moved to Canada, 
they started making videos in canada in britain in usa and the scale started improving and acceptance of the punjabi music became so, global and it became yeah. mainstream yeah it, it has now overtaken hindi music also <laughs> except the film music this should be the number 2 music industry in this country and yeah. punjabis are everywhere i have seen a packed concert of malkit singh in yeah. spain oh, wow. the entire audience was spaniards not a single indian there mm. a packed house mm. every disco you go in the world since the last decade or so you yeah. hear punjabi songs i mean london tumakda you will hear in barcelona also in chicago also in mississauga also in germany also you hear it everywhere so punjabi music is here and punjabi music has actually become mainstream the punjabi music stars are also film stars yeah they graduated from film uh, music to film so and they're remarkable the talent i'll tell you in the punjabi talent is remarkable they mm. go anywhere in the world and they succeed mm. that's very unique about punjab mm. so uh, so what are the you know primary revenue streams for you know ptc network in the punjabi music business and what strategies you know ptc network has implemented to increase the monetization opportunity opportunities basically in punjabi music no i'll tell you there are two aspects of it yeah as far as the music as a genre is concerned not just punjabi music yeah. any music yeah tv channel as the outlet for music is almost over mm. nobody watches music on tv now yeah they go to streaming channels they go to gana.com jio or youtube or apple music or other streaming platforms the currency has changed earlier mm. every artist would wait to get a date on which day mtv or channel v or ptc would premiere their songs they would wait now they don't need to wait they have to put it on youtube put it on their facebook put it on their social media tweet about it and everybody will get to know and see it at yeah. their convenience so the mode are changing and the result is those who are not serious about punjabi music or the curation of punjabi music or how to nurture it will in this year die out yeah tv channels for music will not be the currency anymore or be the medium anymore right. unless you innovate unless you find new talent you record them you release them and that music is original music now right. you can't have a, a a business model so or honey singh will record a song right. produce a music video his company will pay me to air it and to promote it where it has gone you will create a tony singh now or right. a simran kaur now and right. you'll nurture them you'll record them right. you, the channels will do what they were not investing into music business yeah you're getting the music business and playing it and getting advertising money yeah now they need to produce it now yeah. they need to nurture it right. those who will be able to do it will survive right. in ptc music almost 60% of the content is produced by us the songs the music videos ptc studio ptc simran all those uh, shows that we produce are produced in house we produce those music videos we produce that music which we air on that channel those are the channels which will be exclusive giving exclusive music content they will sir so that is a change that is going to come this year so in that term only you know how do you you know see the emerging technologies in in these times like ai vr ar you mm. know shaping the future of broadcasting and media how you look into that it's a fantastic development yeah. and i'll tell you what we are already using ai yeah. tools in our editing in our production in mm. lot of areas mm-hmm. the there are two sides of it one side people are debating that ai will kill jobs it yeah, yeah. will eat up the real talent and all that yeah. i have a different take mm-hmm. ai is a tool yeah earlier when we used to edit movies we had these negatives positive films you mm-hmm. will cut them join them with rubber solution edit the scenes make a movie and then send different different prints of the final 
master to the movie theater where they will play on a projector reel they'll get broken they'll get repaired then came a tool movies became digital you can edit them digitally now send it to the cinema in one oh. single beam it will go to every theater and play on that time it will get stored on their server for a time it's a tool similarly ai is a tool my editor would sit and edit an episode in 4 days now he can do it in 4 hours soon he'll be able to do it in 4 minutes saves time improves quality gives me input of a million minds instead of just one mind plus if i know how to use the tool i can create better software i can have better operations i yeah. can maximize my throughput i can improve my profitability as well as quality so it's a tool it's up to you how intelligently you use the tool do you sure. become the slave of the tool sure. or do you make the tool your slave um, that's the key yeah so can you you know discuss any specific initiatives or you know programs by ptc network that have been you know impactful in supporting the artist any Me- oh, everything everything yeah. that we do is supportive of the talent of punjab yeah. be it voice of punjab the reality yeah. show for juniors yeah. as well as seniors where we pick up we go to audition the talent in small town cities we pick up the talent from there bring them to the studio groom them then turn them into professional singers yeah. voice of punjab similarly mr punjab similarly miss ptc punjabi similarly tusi kinne punjabi ho uh, uh, similarly dance punjabi dance that we have started uh, everything that we do uh, is with the focus to promote the local talent of punjab when we started ptc box office the idea was so everything you just said it is you know it is all successful in terms of you know the venue in oh, terms yes. of yeah oh yes and, and and um, i'll tell you what we are i think the only ones who are doing this in our field punjabi all other channels are either their news channel or their music channel or their movie channel or they are producing some fiction show which is produced in bombay or studios with established actors or something like that the point is unless i can provide a platform to the grassroots viewer and change lives then i'm i don't think i'm serving my purpose fir to koi bhi business kar le we can do any business and make money there idea is not just to make money yeah idea is not just to do business idea yeah. to change lives if you can change lives yeah. then your mission is successful when we got into punjabi television the idea was not to do business idea was to give voice to that region yeah. give a shape to that region and give a platform for the talent of that region to shine on a global platform now mm-hmm. we can proudly say that we are available in every country on this uh, yeah so punjab punjabis wherever they are they know they have a platform they have a voice of their own in today's time you know punjabi films are also doing really well like you know bollywood films i think they have you know come to that space that they are equally appreciated by the, by the yes. audience so what do you feel is that what is the future of punjabi film industry in terms of business new uh, strategies what we can implement next see uh, what will happen ultimately to punjabi industry is right now punjabi film industry is centered around 3 4 5 camps only yeah it's going to expand yeah better storytellers mm-hmm. better filmmakers are going to come in and mm-hmm. more money will get pumped in to punjabi cinema as it is becoming successful yeah. and it will become glo- it is already global actually it'll get better and better and better my yeah. dream is to see a day when people talk about a punjabi web series or a punjabi movie in the yeah. same breath as they talk of game of thrones bollywood movies also game yeah. of thrones why bollywood bollywood yeah. to punjabi yeah. cinema is at par with yeah i'm saying to go global on a scale where my movie is watched in spain in uh, in italy in uh, usa in canada in australia in middle east everywhere that yeah. should be our quality appeal and the film making mm-hmm. and the time will come soon very soon mm. 
that's great that's great so uh, what is your vision for you know ptc network in the next 5 years and how do you plan to stay ahead in the competitive media landscape and what's new lined up for you know the, uh, for the upcoming projects see we are constantly innovating we yeah. keep experimenting with formats with shows with technology the big thing that we keep doing which many people in the mainstream or in the country are not aware is we produce most of our shows okay. in virtual reality 360 degree vr the yeah. award show that you were talking about the rising yeah. music star that we did it's yeah. available on youtube in vr so you can put the mobile and put the your mobile in this sort of a gear put it on oh, your wow. eye and like this put it here Got it. Put it in your eyes. These are the headphones, yeah. and your body and mind will get transported on the front seat of that show. Oh wow! The That's entire crazy. show, like the performers, the whatever is happening there, is happening live in front of you. Mm. So that's a very very experiment, new innovative experiment that we've been doing for five years now. Yeah. It's not just we've started this today. <laughs> Then we are going to be producing a fiction show now in. VR. Oh. So we're doing a lot of work in VR. Currently, I think we are the only guys in television or TV industry which are doing VR, yeah. the serious scale on a day to day scale. Mm -hmm. That we are doing. Then a lot of new formats are coming. To see, in Punjabi, there was a quiz show which mm -hmm. family is participating based on the heritage and wisdom of Punjab. That's mm -hmm. going to come back. Voice of Punjab, Chota Champ. is going to be launched soon then come then will come the voice of punjab then comes this film rising film star awards yeah so a lot of your there are two fiction shows lined up uh -huh. uh, we just completed 100 episodes of mohre it oh, was wow. a political love angle sort of a drama series which did extremely well so uh -huh. if shows bigger better formats they'll all keep coming uh -huh. So thank you so much, Rubindra sir, for your time. It was our pleasure to have you here. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.